53 degrees, 80 percent humidity. Actually, doesn't feel bad. Slight little breeze. Yeah, and travel is not in yet. I must have not set the lever quite far enough ahead. It doesn't go back to where you had it set every time. When it comes in, it shuts the valve off, and the valve doesn't open back to exactly where you had it. And I just got a couple of marks on there with the Sharpie showing me where I want it. And yeah, so I goofed up. Don't hurt to put a little extra water along that side. Neighbors is too dry anyway. Here we have, I believe that's Dancer, with her baby boy, and these two, I missed it right before I turned the camera on, these two were halfway headbutting each other around, they're two of the youngest ones, uh, let's see if I can keep from getting shocked here, this young lady right here on the right side. She's a tease. I'm going to guess maybe she smells good this morning. Because these boys here were all crammed up against that gate. They're all steers. So they ain't going to do nothing. But they still know something. Yeah, see, she's trying to kiss your face with that one. Looks like they're going to scrape a little stuff away from the fence here again. And... Put their feeder back up where it belongs and give them a bale. Need to get a couple bales in the feed barn too. And out for that group. And they're pretty well scattered out. So. Anyway, we'll see what today brings. Uh, number one was going to pick up the bearings for the baler on her way out this morning since they had those. I don't need the end cap right away. You can all get together and just tell even a paper towel over this stupid thing for a couple of days. It's not like it's out in the open, just something to keep the beard out. It's not going anywhere. Ah, oh, yeah. I knew I left this somewhere. Morning, everybody. I'll get you something. These girls are fed. Fed backwards this time. Fed over here in the lockups first. These girls are patiently waiting. See? Patiently waiting. Uh, this one right here, been watching her eye. Okay. It's watery, was swelled up, part shut the other day. Pulling, I'm sister, guessing she might have poked herself. Being it was swelled up the other day. But one way or the other, I mean, more or less, it's a pink eye or an injury, one or the other. So. She's going to get some ointment and some puffer in the eye. She's going to get about 40 cc's of LA. And uh, number one tweeted her yesterday, too. But that's about all we can do. And, and hope we got it in time. Sometimes you do, sometimes you don't. For probably the last 10 years, we have given pink eye shots in the spring. That was after about three years of really nasty pink eye. As in, we had it bad enough that it was to the point. What'd you do? Uh-oh. There's nothing in that one. It's an empty box. She must have dropped it somewhere. Anyway, I'll look for it while I finish telling the story. Um, it was bad enough that every single day... For about two weeks, we ran the whole herd through the chute so we could check eyes and treat eyes. And the reason we did it every day is because we had new cases popping up and the ones that didn't have it. And we were 
hammering the ones that did pretty hard to try to get past it. That's when it was decided that the, what, $2.21 or whatever the hell it is for, uh, yeah. I don't see it in here either. We do got something else that works. Plain old triple antibiotic ointment. There's a few people I know that use it. That's how we got started using it. It helps. This particular one is really, really, really thick. So it's hard to get in. You gotta put it on your finger and tuck it under the lid. But it helps. And this kind of pisses me off because that other stuff is kind of hard to get. And you have to get it through the vet. Which, I mean, that's not a problem. They'll get it for us. It works really good. <laughs> and it would be really good to use it on her. But anyway, that's how the day's going so far. And, of course, the traveler finally got in just about the time she got here. She's got a... Oh, they always tape boxes. You just didn't know it. She, she just had to open another box at LA 300. I'm not a big fan of the 300, but that's what we can get easily. You got to be really careful how much you put per injection site. They say 10 cc's. Well, I like to do more like eight or less per site. And when you got to pump 40 cc's or more into somebody, that's a lot of folks. And it stings a little, so they don't like it. But um, the reason they only want no more than 10 is because it causes abscesses. Go figure, an antibiotic that's going to cause an abscess. So, and where the lockups are locked up, these girls are locked in because they all flipped it. And she's going to try to let them out. Finish with that cow, we can flip the lever and get them all out. Yeah, well. Move everything. And, uh, uh, semi's parked below those bins right now because feed truck came good thing is he's got a full load on and ours is on the very back so he should be able to get out of the driveway problem is it's the longest trailer that they have and the driver's never been in here before and the worst thing is it's got a short auger that auger isn't even half the length of the trailer so this is going to be fun so we'll get you as much room as we can. Nice guy. He's going to have a little discussion with his dispatcher and say, Hey, you can't sew long trailers in here. And then his GPS sent him up over 219. Guess what? He's too long for that. They put a length limit on that a long time ago. Okay, well, I can. They just started combining up there. That's the field of Crossroads from our shop. And where is she? There she is. She's headed home with that, and I'm going to the other field. A little fuzzy, but... She's cutting twine down here for these cows, and she looked in the creek. Well, Dad, you get a good shot over here. She says, I get a gooder shot over here. Whether you can see into the water or not. I got to figure out where she's looking. See where it comes out at a point? Straight out from me? Like, straight out from my leg, there's one moving right uh, in the dip. He was heading for the... There's one right in there somewhere. Yeah, he's heading right at the point to go up. <laughs> he might pop out of the water. I don't know. I don't see him, so... Well, there's a couple more in the deep. Oh, no, I see him. There's a cloudy yeah. spot. And I got three right here. Right where the freaking reflections are on. Hey, there's one moving right here. Across the same direction. Anyway. I figured I'd show you that since she made me get off the loader. There's one straight out right there straight out from us so there's 12 or 15 of them just right here from right there to right in here the this bank it's gotten chewed out from everything but uh, from the other side used to look over here and it'd be full of crawdad holes there's here and then a stretch in here in the falls because yeah they dig in in the winter and they hibernate in them and I didn't show you yeah, just surface right there 
for a second. Got one cruising right here. <laughs> yeah, he's was cruising. Apparently they're getting camera shy. Hi, buddy. There he is. I put my polarized glasses in front of it, see if it makes a difference. Because I just lost him in the reflections. Still kind of moving. Let's see. He's eating something. Yeah, that just focuses on the glasses. Oh, well. And he's eating something over here, too. Need to find me a coyote or two close to the creek and have them fall in and give these guys something to eat. They're good at cleaning that up after about three weeks of it sitting there. You said it just had to get you on. I wasn't sure he was alive. He was covered with, Ooh, he's got some bugs with on dusty him. in there. Yeah, he's got some bugs on there. Uh, he's guy. got worms. He's got worms. That's not so bueno. Oh, well, put him back. He's either going to make it or he won't. Spent more time dinking with stuff today, but things got to be done. I thought I'd see if we couldn't get you a better picture. A little fuzzy, though. That side hill is on that angle, and the combine is on that angle. Around here we call those leaners. Not too many guys have them. There's a few. This guy's got two of them. Uh, there's another guy. A land studer boy. He's got, I think, two of them now. And uh, I know another guy with one. All pretty much the same model, all newer Case IH. There's a couple old 1470s running around, and 1470 is just a 1460 that leans. Same thing with a 1670. A 1670 is a 1660 that leans. They uh, cost a lot more money, but when you're dealing with ground like that on everything, they say in the long run it pays for itself. We just can't afford that fancy stuff. I'd take a, a good used one over what we got. Something that leaned, but you know, even a good used one's too much money anymore, unless you find a dead one and rebuild it, and by the time you're done, you're still too much into it. But let's see, they had two rounds done on that yesterday. And that was cut with a 16-foot swather, so he's in there quite a ways. They got probably a dozen rounds done today, I suppose, so far. Well, boys and girls, pain in the ass. Number one, you got to identify exactly what engine it is to get an oil filter. And to figure out where the filter is. Hey, thank you, YouTube and Google. Alternator. Air conditioning compressor. Oil filter is behind the air conditioning compressor about straight down there. That took a while to find because you can't see it till you take the right panel off the bottom. It's two liter. I figured that out. Um, apparently these things had a little issue with oil consumption. They don't smoke, they don't leak it, but it disappears. And apparently Hyundai says one quart in every 500 miles is just fine. Hell, my pickup with a big motor in it that's got almost 200, actually I think it's over 200,000 miles on it. Uh, it uses maybe a quart in 3,000 miles. So anyway, it's already passed when you guys are watching the video. So I'll get you a little here. Truck's going to sit there for the night. I got to, uh, I got to, Tear up a tire on the trailer before it goes out in the morning. Got one load of hay left out in the field. Hopefully get that picked up in the morning before the traveler gets in. Because that tractor is over in that field. And, uh, yeah, this thing went a little longer on oil change. You can't do that. The oil will handle it, but the filters won't. So, but anyway... It had synthetic, and it sounds like that's kind of half the reason that they use oil. So I guess what we're going to put in it. 
And yeah, some of you are going to say, it's not a diesel, it's not a diesel. Guess what? We run that shit in everything. And we don't have oil use issues. Not excessive anyway. That's what we used in the last couple small cars that were around here too. So, that's what it's getting. And apparently there's a difference in filters for, between conventional oil and synthetic. I found that out. This had a Napa Premier or a Platinum filter in it. Platinums are for synthetic. Napa Gold is for regular oil. Everything we got around here is Napa Gold, so what the heck, right? So anyway, it's been a day. Mm -hmm. Made it a little over 80 degrees and 60% humidity, so yeah, it's a little, little uncomfortable. Been like this all day, too. It was a pretty good day. Yeah, it was a pretty good day. So this happened. Uh, no, number two found out that when you make it to town and the filter decides it's done filtering, your oil pressure drops. Just it takes a few times of stopping and letting things get happy and then going that again to get home. Save your ass, make sure no fucking yeah, you. so she went and followed her home, took oil in case she needed it. So, yeah, that expensive synthetic oil they dumped in in town, yeah, it's already in the waste oil barrel. I sure hope it gets along with all the rest of the oil that's in there. Hmm. Anyway, waiting for Becky to come back. She went to town to pick up the filter. Since we didn't have any for it. And I will uh, throw the little bit I have for today together and let you have it. And we can end with that shot right there. Thanks for watching, everybody.